What happens when a gamer becomes a fairly important scientist and makes a new discovery? Things like Sonic Hedgehog happen. Sonic. <laughs> the Sonic Hedgehog protein is one of three proteins in the Hedgehog signaling pathway group of proteins, all of which are encoded by the Sonic Hedgehog gene. There is Desert Hedgehog and Indian Hedgehog, both named after real species of hedgehog. And then there's Sonic Hedgehog, named after the video game character. The vast majority of mammals have these three, though Sonic is the most important. So what does it do? The hedgehog signaling pathway is what transmits information from a mother to its embryo. Genetic information about how to form a fetus. The Sonic Hedgehog protein specifically transmits data on how to form proper vertebrae, spinal cords, your central nervous system, digit growth on limbs, and the organization of the brain. Yes, Sonic is in control of how your brain is formed as a fetus. After the mammal is born, however, this gene doesn't stop being useful. As the mammal grows, Sonic Hedgehog becomes responsible for the cell division of adult stem cells, which are basically blank cells. They aren't skin cells, or brain cells, or organ cells. They are blank, and they can become any type of cell. And it's Sonic's responsibility to make sure they duplicate. Also in adults, Sonic Hedgehog helps heal damaged hair follicles, as well as helps build tooth enamel. Sonic does a lot of stuff, or at least, it does when there isn't any Robotnikin involved. And that's not a joke. Robotnikin is a thing too. It's a Sonic Hedgehog inhibitor. If, for whatever reason, you wanted your Sonic Hedgehog to stop, you simply apply Robotnikin. <laughs> Even super serious scientists have to find fun every now and then. Though the name Sonic Hedgehog isn't appreciated by everyone. For instance, if while in the womb a fetus has a mutated Sonic Hedgehog gene, then their brain won't form properly. Most commonly, their brain doesn't divide into two hemispheres, a condition known as holoprosencephaly. A good number of children with this condition don't live very long, and even if they do, it's a life full of seizures, constant medication, and a plethora of mental problems. Now imagine a doctor telling some new parents that the reason their baby is having so many seizures and has a high mortality risk is because of a mutation in its sonic hedgehog gene. <laughs> can't take it seriously. <laughs> but biology doesn't just have Sonic references in it. It also has Pokemon ones. And you can click here to see my video on the Pikachu Ren protein. So until next time, please continue filling that noggin of yours with information. And stay awesome.